Good morning. Can you see the frost? We've gone from 80 to 20s in a week here in Oklahoma, and I'm dressed for it. I'll put a picture up of the title card for this really cute outfit. It's got matching pants. I really love it. We're heading out for some errands. We as in me and my camera. I'm gonna run some errands. We're gonna hit Hobby Lobby and I'll come back and do a little haul. I may show a few things when I'm in the stores. I'm also gonna get some Walmart stuff, but Walmart's not that interesting to go shopping in, but I'll show you what I got. And we'll do a quick little haul today and I'll show you all the fun stuff I'm up to. But first, dentist, not gonna take you in there. Not very exciting, but really important. My garden still is up. We have not um, gone in and taken it down. We're still getting peppers and tomatoes, actually, until this. And the frost on the roses, can you see that? It's Halloween and it kind of looks, well, it looks a little creepy. Just a quick note while I'm editing this, I did not put a ton of footage from my shopping because I am not comfortable <laughs> videoing in public. Just letting you know. So anyway, back to the video. Okay friends, let me show you my purchases. So I'm going to also have some Walmart stuff that's going to arrive. I'm having it delivered, um, so it'll be here in a minute. We have a dowel rod. Not very exciting, but needed for a project. And these were not on sale. I try to get things on sale whenever I can, but it was like 99 cents. I did get paper plates for Thanksgiving. At my home, when we do Thanksgiving, I usually do my china but we are going to be doing thanksgiving at my parents we're going to have most of my siblings quite a few of the grandkids even a few great grandkids it's going to be a whole ordeal and we're going to make it simple and easy we're there to visit not to do dishes so i picked up some thanksgiving plates while they were on sale so we have some thanksgiving plates the great big ones, these are normally $6.99 for 20 and they were 40% off. So I got two sets of those. These are $4.99 for 20 And I just got one set of napkins because um, they don't work as well as like the other napkins that we use. Again, we won't be using cloth napkins. I don't think my mom even, we talk, she has enough cloth napkins, but not that all match for probably 20, 25 people that will be there. So we're gonna go this route. And these were $5.99 for 30. And then the last thing in this sack, some circus peanuts. That's my one of my candies of childhood that sometimes I just really look forward to. So I grabbed some of those. 
I know the sack sounds are loud. So they did not have fabric on sale this week, but I needed some fabric for some projects that I have to get done um, by Friday. So I made out of this cute sort of Southwest looking fabric, I made some placemats for my mom and I think one of them got thrown away. So I'm gonna replace one of her placemats. This um, is a duck fabric. It's really cute. It looks sort of like a blanket. And this is going to become a pillow cover for, um, again, for mom. And then I've got some things for a project that's coming up that you guys will see. Some black fringe. I can't, I don't, I left my receipt downstairs in my purse. Um, none of this was on sale. Oh, the fringe was on sale. I think it was like a dollar fifty a yard, something like that, two dollars a yard. Um, and I got two yards of that. I got one yard of black velvet. And oh, here the prices are here. So the trim was a dollar twenty nine. The velvet was nine ninety nine, and both of the other fabrics were seven ninety nine. Nothing was on sale as far as fabrics go. But the buttons were, and I have a project coming up that I have not bought buttons for. So the buttons are always ninety nine cents. These are I don't know if they're going to show up or not. These are the faceted black um, shiny button. I really like these and they're tiny. Perfect for the cuff that they're going on. I don't like to pay full price for patterns, but I did buy two um, patterns. I got Simplicity 9603. This is either a dress or a wrap. It has both options in there or a top or a wrap. And I really liked View B. I thought that was super cute, though I could see making like a little house dress out of it too. So I picked that one up and then I picked up Simplicity 8462 and I specifically got it for this little jacket. Um, and I, I'll talk more about it when I do this project. I may make this skirt. The, I had an outfit with a jacket very similar to this. It did not have a collar and I probably will remove the collar for the project that I'm going to do. I haven't decided yet, but it fit very much like this. It was a black and white pinstripe. It had a pencil skirt. It was made in a heavy knit, so it stretched, which I probably will do again. I wore this when I was like 14. It was such a cute outfit and it looks, of course at 14 I had a great little tiny body. So we'll see how I decide to make it this time around, but I would really like to have the, that same look. It would also really look nice and I may do it with a pant um, instead uh, with this cute little jacket, but I picked it up specifically for this little jacket and it's a, I think a four panel skirt I'm looking to see. No, it's not, it's just an A-line skirt. So, and I think it even has the little shirt underneath, it does. So it has a, the little shirt has button ups, buttons down the back and it's sort of just an off the shoulder sleeve, it's not a full sleeve, cute little outfit. So those are the sewing related things that I picked up. And then I got a few of the holiday things that were on today. Oh no, I have one more sewing thing hiding in here. I picked up some fat orders. These are $4.99 for, um, let's see how many is in here, five pieces, $4.99 for five pieces. So they're like a dollar a piece and I got two of them. I'm going to make napkins. Fat quarters are the perfect thing for making napkins. Um, so these are for my mother-in-law for Christmas. She does not watch my sh YouTube. I don't think she's even aware I'm on YouTube. So Christmas present, that's what these are for. Um, I do puzzles. I'm a puzzler and puzzlers were 40% off. So I picked up this Christmas donut puzzle. So cute. It was $16.99, but 40% off. And then, I got this. I hope I can live with it. I'm very sensitive to perfumes. I'm very sensitive to candles and air wicks and all that sort of thing. I do use them, but I'm cautious. I also diffuse oils sometimes, but I have to be very careful. I migraine prone and scent is one of the things that can send me from completely fine to not fine real quick. So we'll see how this, this is cinnamony and pine. Um, scented, it's really cute. I'm gonna divide it up into a couple little jars, but they had it with like red, red, green, and, and sort of the brown, or this one that's just white with the natural colors. It has some little beads and lots of little pine cones and some little like nuts and things. It smells, it does smell good. It's pretty strong through the sack. So we'll, we'll see how my head likes it. 
Okay, so that's my quick Hobby Lobby haul. I'll be back as soon as the Walmart stuff arrives, and I will show you the few things that I got for Walmart. I am prepping for Christmas sewing. I usually have started sooner. I have been so busy that I have not been managing my time well. I've been resting in between all the craziness, and which I need to do. I got a little sick in there, and I think that was partly pushing myself. Um, but I gotta get gotta get myself in gear. So. Christmas present here. I'm actually going to do a lot of handmade napkins. I used to do this a lot. Everyone would get a little set of pretty napkins to go with their house um, and with their little gift that I made them, and I haven't done that in a while. My mother-in-law mentions all the time how much she loves those napkins, and she has like seven or eight sets. I've made her quite a few, um, so I'm going to make her another little set of napkins, a set of ten. I like this because she'll have a couple, ma there, there'll be two of everything that matches for her and her hubby. And then um, if she was doing the whole play setting with family over, they all match, but they're not, uh, they're sort of mix and match. So they're, they're, they are companion fabrics. Okay, back in a few minutes with the Walmart purchases. The reason I got them at Walmart, loud plane going over. Um, I price, was price shopping. I went online and I compared the price for the thing I wanted at Hobby Lobby to Walmart, and Walmart was quite a bit cheaper and some of the things it was almost half the cost um, so I added them to my Walmart grocery order and they'll be here in a couple of hours so back in a few minutes okay the Walmart delivery has arrived I actually ordered groceries and realized I could throw this stuff in with my groceries and was pretty pumped about it so I got a new Rotary blade. This is Fisker's brand, but I'm putting it in my Ulfa cutter. I have Ulfa cutters that are 30 years old, more than 30 years old. I used them in college and they still work great as long as you put a new blade in once in a while. So I ordered just a single blade. They're so expensive. I remember back in the day getting them in a plastic case and you might get nine or 10 and I'm thinking how expensive they were back then. Well, now they're $5 a piece um, from Walmart. I think they're more expensive than that at Hobby Lobby. I also got a new big quilters ruler. This one is the, um, it's like 24 by six. I love this kind of ruler. I am missing. I had a bunch of things like this and they're just are gone. I don't know if I've lost them. If it, I did have things break when I had kids at home. Things like this didn't always survive. Um, but anyway, they're all missing. So, and I don't remember what happened. I'm starting to replace. And this is one of them. This was, I believe, around $10. I will put the actual price up. I did not bring the prices up with me at Walmart. I know that it was more like $18 at Hobby Lobby, so I know it was a better deal if you went to Wally World. And the same with this. I got a new self-healing mat. I have a large one, one that fits my cutting table, which is great for bigger projects. But I'm going to be doing lots of napkins and fat quarters and smaller things. And I wanted a simple, easy to use one. And this one's two-sided, which is kind of nice depending on the fabric that you're working with, the colored fabric. And I appreciated that. This was only $14.99 at Walmart, which is a bargain because this one is 18 by 24 it's a decent size mat especially if you do crafty quilty things or cutting down stuff into fat quarters this is perfect so that's it for my haul today i am hoping next week i for sure will be back with a project um, i have a dress that i have been waiting to make for almost a year these buttons are for it so that may be coming up. It depends on, it's going to be more involved and I have to have more time set aside for some of these projects, which is why they haven't happened. I've been sewing lots of small things. I've been getting some cushions made and lots of repairs and stuff that's not super interesting to show to you or things that I've made with you before. But I've got a, a whole stack of projects already planned out with all of the fabric ready to go. And I hope to start tackling it. So next Wednesday morning, we will all meet back here with a new fun project to sew together. See you next week for another fun video. Yes, I did film with this whole segment twice because I forgot to turn the mic on. I don't know what it is with me and Mike. We have problems.